gotta take Jiu Jitsu, that's a martial art. You gotta take Muay Thai, that's a martial art. Then you have two martial arts to mix together. Then you can do mixed martial arts, okay? You can't just go and just fight, okay? So you guys gotta take these Jiu Jitsu class. You gotta come take the Muay Thai class. Do boxing if you can, do everything, okay? Because that's what, that's what it's for. It's a mixture of everything. So you gotta do everything. And then we come do these classes and we'll do drills, get you guys in shape, get you guys ready to mix them all together, okay? If you guys wanna do it, we'll do it. Yeah, my first fight was an MMA fight. This is where I really got into the uh, into the mind aspect of the game. You know, um, you have to. It, a lot of fighting is here. You know, in, in your mind, you have to. Um, if you mess up the guy's mind, you can you can beat guys that are better than you. And I've beat a lot of guys that were way better than me. I beat some Brazilians uh, in Brazil that were better than me because I got them. I got them here. You know, I got them thinking wrong. And, that, and this is what I did in my first fight. I went out um, with my gi on and I had a purple belt. So, you know, it made the guy think that uh, I wanted to take him to the ground because I was a purple belt. Back in those days, there wasn't that many purple belts or brown belts or black belts, you know? So, I mean, here in America anyway. So I made him think that, but I wanted to stand up. I like to stand up and fight. I always have, I don't know why, that's just me. So. I went out there in my gi to make him think I was gonna take him down, but I didn't, and it was a 15 second knockout, my first fight. So I just, I just banged away on him, MMA gloves, you know, I, was, I used to be big, you know, and just, just knocked him out. So that, that really got me into the mind aspect of the game. You gotta, you gotta have it here. You have it here, you win in, in the cage. That's what I think. But if I'm here, boom, and it takes down, I'm gonna keep that kick down. You gotta come in with punches. Boom, boom, boom. And then you're in with that punch and the takedown. When you get down, back up, okay? Man, and back in those days it was MMA, so it was just like I just trained with good guys, you know. I trained and tried to figure out what their weak point was and, and use it against them. I mean, it was it was mind again. Again with the mind aspect of it, you know. And I think we showed on season seven of the Ultimate Fighter how how the mind aspect worked on it. It worked, man. You know, it works on the game, and um, it is a game. It's a sport. You know, so I don't know. That's that's where I um, <clears throat> really started be beating people is when I started thinking about what and why and how and how to break people and how to not break and how to keep going and things of that nature. You know and making them think you're doing one thing and you do something else. That's what, that's what beats people. It was the mind aspect. Well, first thing I do is we teach them the basics. That's the first thing you do. Um, then everyone develops their own style, whether they know it or not. You, like everyone has their own personality. Everyone in the world has a different personality. Everyone has their own style when they fight. Um, I teach them the basics and the way that they put it together, that's their style. And then I try to make that better and better and better and better. And I always tell beginners, you know, people, you gotta start somewhere. You know what I mean? Just do it, start somewhere, you know? They learn better when you enhance what they already have instead of trying to show them what you have. You try to mix that all together, you know, but you always try to Everyone has their own different style, you know? If everyone had the same style, it'd be easy to figure out, you know? So I try to make everybody, everybody's an individual, you know? Try to enhance what they already have. All right, guys, good, good work today. Um, I got plans on what we're gonna do. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. We'll, we'll build it up to where we get a flow going. And you guys' shape will get better and better, okay? All you have to do is you have to adapt with the style, so, you know, you have to adapt. Like, if, if you did Taekwondo, your kicks, I mean, you're gonna be flexible, you're gonna be fast, your, your legs are gonna be fast, so that's gonna help, but your kick, the kicks aren't very hard, you know? So, all the, if they adapt it to the Muay Thai with the style of the way we kick hard, then it actually is gonna benefit them, but you have to adapt. 
if you don't adapt and you're just stuck hard-headed in one in one way, then you're always going to stay in that one place, you know. And that that that's my philosophy on it. Every martial arts good for you. You just have to adapt. You know what I mean? Because, like, what makes you a good coach is showing guys stuff that not even, like, I fight too, but stuff that I, I could never do this, but I show it to somebody and they do it and it works. Because I'm not them, you know, I can, they can do stuff that I can't do. And some of my students can do a lot of stuff that I can't do, you know, they're better than me. So, but don't tell them that. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's good. It's good to watch somebody do do something and it work. You know, it's great. It's the same as when you fight somebody. You watch what they do, and if they move their hand this far, then you're gonna open them up for a hook. So I, if I watch a fighter and he does that, I try to correct that. So it, it's kind of like I'm fighting the guy but I'm really helping him, you know. Just from here to here is a huge difference. So if I tell him to do that, I'll just turn it over like that, it's nothing. But it's a lot, they don't know that, you see? That's, that's hopefully that's my, my game, you know, sharpening them up like that, making everything sharper. Even if it's this much, they're still this much better than they were yesterday. Both people punching and takedown, all right? Punching with takedown. I always want the guy that keeps going. I always, because that's me. Because I, I don't catch things that fast, you know. But I was, I was mentally, I was, I'm gonna do this, you know. This is what I wanted to do. I was there twice a day, for four years, you know, every day, even Saturdays, hungover or not, I don't care. I was there, um, you know. That was me. So I like that guy, and the guy that catches on, like that. I hate that guy. No, I like those guys too. Um, I can bring those guys up so so much faster, and and these guys I can make. I've made guys in less than a year better than me, you know. And that, that that's what makes the aspects of a good coach, you know. I mean, is showing making guys better than you. A lot of guys, most guys I train are better than me, you know. I mean, but that's that's what makes you a good coach, you know. So those guys that learn that fast. The only thing I try to do with those guys is try to have them not take it for granted. You know, we used to have a guy that would come in and in a week would be beating up everybody. And then he would leave for four months, you know. Imagine if he would stay for that four months, how good he would have got. You know, if they don't take it for granted, then those are the guys that move up that ladder. But you still have to have that in you to keep going. Because when I beat that guy who's really good, then he's like, oh, I'm leaving. And that guy's no good. You gotta get up, keep going. You know? Hold hands, get your hip out. Here. Here. Then he doesn't come up on the elbow. Oh, not enough space. He comes up here. If your arm's bent and he pushes on you, your arm can't hold his whole body. Just leave your arm straight. When he pushes on you, it pushes my hip out. Thank you. Let's be up. Arm straight. Okay? So both hands, hip out first. Up on the hands, straight arm. Then up. What most people don't know is anybody can do it. And the way that I try to explain stuff to people to where they relate to it is music. If, if you played a guitar, if I gave you a guitar right now and you never played a song, here, play me a song, it would sound terrible. But if you practiced every day for an hour for a year, sound good, right? You would know how to play it, right? That's what I try to explain to people. It's the same with anything you do in life. If you wanna do it, your motivation to do it, and you come practice every day, it's the same as a guitar. You will get better, you have to. You'll get better, and um, if you wanna do it, I just say just go do it, you know? You don't even have to fight, just if you wanna do it, you can do it, anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. That's what I tell them, <laughs> it's true.